Hello everyone. I wanted to talk about the chakras and the emotions. Um, some people think when you start balancing your chakras um, that you can still, you know, when you, you begin to meditate or whatever, uh, you should be balancing your chakras, which is also connected with your emotions. Let me explain it that way. Because both of them are energy sy systems. They are both psychic uh, centers that's linked together. Okay? You got your mental. Okay? You got your me mental right there. You got your sixth sense right there, which is your, your, your true eye. The psychic eye. Your spiritual eye, you got that going on. Your sensor, that's a sensor as well. This is a sensor, which, sensor, which is right here in your throat. Then you got your heart sensor um, that is in, in the center, okay? And then you got the, I get them missed up sometimes. And you got uh, the one that's right above your stomach, the navel, then the root chakra on down, okay? All of these are, are energy centers. Every every one of these energy centers, you are always sensing things. Okay, this makes up our aura. Uh, this transmutes energy on a frequency. Uh, it's, it it attracts different things. So you're working on that too. And the key to balancing these chakras is keeping yourself in high vibration, so uh, you can block negative energy. As well, because you this is what you learn how to do. Controlling these emotions are controlling these energy centers. And the better that you get at that, you know, the better that you get with that, uh, the better you're going to feel. Okay? That's how I'm going to explain that. Uh, you should be learning how to, op, you know, operate on a level when no one should be controlling you and making you angry to the point where you are just cursing and just losing it. No one should control you like that. I know when that has happened to me in the past, my experience, I feel like a buffoon I acted like that because I could have uh, resolved that in a different way now. I resolved my issues uh, very different now, and I'm proud of, of the way I've, I've, I've began to handle them. This has been like this for the last... Uh, I think for the last about 10 years, I think, I, I've stopped uh, really arguing, just arguing and, and just the back and forth, the transference. And the more I began to meditate and awaken, I've really learned how to, uh, you know, resist that energy. You become more sensitive to energy the more you work with it. And that's what's happening, too, that happens, too, when you wake up. Um... You know, when, when you start to begin to uh, deal with your chakras, you're becoming too more sensitive to energy and to people. So, uh, don't react and do, you know, into self-destructive behaviors. Use countermeasures. You know, people will uh, come at you. I've had people come at me, I mean, sideways. I mean, uh, really sideways. But uh, I dealt with that in a different matter. I remember when I was working at uh, as a CNA, and that's a very hard job. And we had a very crumby. Uh, she was she was she was a, a terrible boss, and she lost her cool on me. And uh, I know it. Was, I mean, it wasn't. It was nothing but God and the ancestors, and you know that just really held me back from her. I just looked at her. I mean, I couldn't believe she was behaving that way. And I let her behave that way. But it took, like, everything within me not to jump out that seat and hurt that woman. It really did. But I let her act like, act like that. I really did. And I kept a smile on my face. But I was really, because she talked to me like I was a dog. And I let her do, I mean, the behavior, you couldn't believe it because she was rolling her neck and popping her hands and, you know, Popping her hands and all of this, all of my, I was like, uh, uh, and she didn't look like me. I'm gonna say that she didn't look like me. So you know that restraint that I had to have uh, with somebody operating like that. 
and she was supposed to be my superior. So I let her operate like that. And I began to, uh, uh, I made my report on her. I documented the whole instant up. And I remember praying with everything within me. I, t I, I, pray, I, I mean, I prayed out to the universe. I said, yeah, if the universe, if I'm not meant to be here at this job, the only way I'm going to be here at this job, if you remove me or remove her. And I spoke that out into the universe. And I say the energy that she's operating out of, there's no way that me and this woman can share the same space. There's no way I can stay there. And do you know the universe removed that woman? Okay. So, you know, I and I did, I just went through the proper way, but but at the same time the ancestors was telling me I had you have to stay in a you have to learn how to control your energy in order for the universe to work with you. This is what this is all about. You can't be, you know, you you can't have your energy out of balance and then expecting the universe uh, you know, being, you know, to work with you. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. You know, you have to have yourself in on a certain vibration uh, to be able, uh, you know, to do that. So you have to be able to control your energy as well. It's all about being, and this is it right here. We react two time out of, so much out of emotions, but emotions are very good when you know how to use them. And I use my emotion to cry out to the universe because I was mad. I mean, I was upset. And the only thing I knew that was that was powerful for me at that time was calling out to the Most High in the universe to remove that situation. And I mean, I cried out with all my might because I did not want to hurt this woman. That's the only way, that's the only thing I knew. You know, I meant it with every fiber in my being when I called out. And I knew the, uh, I knew the universe was going to respond to me because she was operating on a lower frequency. And me and her couldn't share the same space because I wasn't into creating problems. I'm into resolving, I'm into, you know, resolving problems, resolutions. I don't want to hear about all the problems. I want to hear, let's talk about how we can resolve the problems. Okay? You know, and that's the frame of mind you have to be in. That's the frame of mind I was in uh, as a CNA because I took pride in my, I take pride in my job and taking care of my patients. So, uh, you know, let's talk about solutions, how we can fix it and make it better. Let's not talk about the problems, you know. So, uh, that went in my behalf. So, it will pay off, you know. It will pay off if you set up them countermeasures and you find, find your voice. Because I knew if I went in there and said something to that woman or, uh, and I didn't say another word to her after that. You know, after I, I reported her to her superiors and wrote her up, I didn't say nothing else to after that. But she was steady trying to create uh, an argument with me. And I would just smile at her. And the ancestors would say, you know, we're going to make sure that she is fired uh, on your day off. And you know what? She got fired on my day off. So, you know, uh, it is real, you know. So make sure, you know, you are paying attention to those emotions. You know, if you something makes you sad, happy, glad. Ask yourself why, you know, because that, that's that you're trying to learn how to control these energy centers. You're trying to learn how to control these this this um, this divine power that you have within you and your your emotions is connected to it, especially when you're you're doing any type of spiritual work. You know, uh, if you don't got no control over your emotions, you know what I'm saying? When you go to do your spirit work or whatever, it ain't going to work the way you, you need it to work. If you don't know how to, you know, operate with this energy and know how to, because the emotions is the, is the biggest thing when you're doing your spiritual work. You can really move something. If you are in it's something, you really, 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 really like feel it, you can move it. I've seen it. I've done it. You know what I'm saying? If you really, really trying to move that, your emotions is the most important thing. So don't re Reserve your energy for more important things. Like, you know what I'm saying? When people try to pull me into stuff, I, I don't even I don't even get into it no more because I already have my mind made up in the most positive way. I'm not finna engage in them shenanigans with you. You know, you just you just have to uh cut them off. You just have to cut them off. You know, either ask them a question. If the question is making them mad or whatever, you know, just cut yourself off. 
you know, you have to, and go back and talk about it later. But if you know you cannot talk about it with that person and it's going to invoke a lot of anger in you, you need to go ahead and find a voice, whether it's writing it down and explaining the whole event the way it happened, you know, and giving it to that person so they can see, they can let it reflect upon themselves. You know what I'm saying? That it, let, let, they need to look at themselves. You know, if they're totally operating out of, out of a lower vibration, you need to, uh, you know, look at it, you know, write it down. Because that's that's vip, that's powerful when people can look uh, look at what you wrote down on how they made you feel or how an incident happened and you didn't claim responsibility for it and how it made them feel. You know what I'm saying? And people need to deal with, I said, everybody need to deal with their own crap. If you did something, you need to be on up to it and you need to have that responsibility to own up to it, you know. Don't hide and blame it on nobody else because spiritual growth is all about claiming your own crap. Because if you you're need to deal with something, you know, deal with it. I have to claim my own crap too. We make mistakes or whatever, we have to just claim it and, and deal with it the best. Don't beat yourself up about it, but, you know, that's, you know, that's something you need to work on. Just work on it, you know. Uh, and we have to choose our words very carefully, too. That's that's important, too. What I've learned, especially in giving people readings and and dealing with people, uh, I have did healing work, you know, energy work and people and picked up things from them. And some of the things I picked up are very sensitive, you know. So I can't say it in a way you know, uh, that would offend the person that I'm delivering it to. And then I don't want my feelings to get in the way, too, because I, 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 some things have been revealed to me, and I feel a certain kind of way about it, but I can't say it like that because the message didn't come about like that. You know what I'm saying? So we can't let our own feelings get in the way of, of the divine message either just because we feel a certain way. I mean, I have did readings for people, and get, giving them good advice, you know, in a, in a very loving manner. And really, when they don't take it, this is my feeling. You know what I'm saying? This is just only my personal feeling. And I'm just like, why didn't you just take the divine advice? You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. I can't change it. You know, because they be trying to act like they can get me to change. And I'm like, no, like, you need to get out of here. But, you know, I don't say anything. I don't, I mean, I just stick to what the divine guidance was you know if you do you know this is what it is you know i don't try to make it more so that's that's important too you're going to be very careful how you come across uh you operate at the right energy you know you have to uh operate at the right energy as well so i hope this uh help you uh I know people would try to get you into an altercation with them. Uh, the lower people on, you know, people on that lower frequency, they just, uh, they're just in a bad mood all the time. All the time they're in a bad mood, you know. Uh, those type of people, just steer away from them, you know. I, I mean, I, I, I can create barriers for you. Just don't talk to them. You don't got nothing to say. You know, you avoid them, you know, avoid them. At all costs. I mean, if you can avoid them, avoid them. And if you can't avoid them, then you need to go ahead and and uh, if you can't and you can't talk about it without them making you upset. You know, it just you know it just they keep taunting you. You got people like that. It's people. It's some. It is just some very difficult people out there. They're just you know they're just like that. And then they think it's okay to be like that. They think it's normal. You know. That they can, you know, operate like that. I don't know. You know, uh, some people like that. Then you need to just, you know, uh, sit down and, and, and just let that person know, you know, this is this. You know, find a way that you don't have to uh, countermeasures to help you deal with that. And there is some out there. I've had to do it. Uh, it can be done. <clears throat> you can... Uh, Pray them off you, you know. There's so many things that you can do with that. You don't have to, uh, you know, if you're losing control of those emotions, no, you know. 
you need to work on and and you and 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 it that is i'm not saying uh that 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 your meditation and stuff is not working it could be too that you you have become more sensitive to everybody's you know stuff you can see you're starting to see now and now it's having a real effect on you you know because you your 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 uh senses have heightened so you might have to do a lot of that too close your energy off to these type of people that you know that's toxic you know uh and, and create countermeasures and then too it could be your lifestyle you still hanging out with people that's you know ain't got they they energy together and then you 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 messing around with them and hanging out with them and and then their energy is not together so that has a lot you know to do with it too if you're not guarded on your energy you know I, i'm just i'm keeping it real with you so um uh, you know energy any energy and chakras your emotions all of that is tied together so um uh, if you can't, you know, you want to balance, you want to try balancing those emotions uh, more. You want to start working through some whatever that's unlocked, you know, that's, that's caused you emotional pain or whatever. You know, need to go back in there and deal with that. Uh, you know, whatever that emotion is, you need to go ahead and deal with it. Um, heal yourself from it. And then... Um, you know, set up countermeasures so you don't let anyone try to control you like that because that's what that is. They're controlling your energy and you're feeding into it. I tell my daughter that all the time. She come home, she mad at somebody. And because this boy said that, I'm like, well, how come you just didn't say whatever? You know what I'm saying? Why come you didn't just say whatever, whatever? Just, you know, let them say what they want to say. They only get worse when you feed into the energy. You can remove yourself. You don't have to listen to that. You can remove yourself. So uh, she's learning. She, it, she tried it one time and it worked. She's like, oh, God, mama, that just worked. I was just told that boy, whatever. And then he kept talking. I kept saying, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he finally just went on, you know. Sometimes people are just not worth their energy. You know, they're just not worth it. I don't uh, think of it like that. You know, when somebody try to make you mad, just start laughing. You know, you know. Because it'll, it'll really start tripping you out. And it'll start tripping you out too. How you're, uh, how you want to get angry. And you're looking at your angry self. I don't know. I do that. I look at the, my angry self. My angry ego. The ego want to cuss and all that. And I would see that in my mind. And I would just start laughing at people. But they're wearing this same face. You know, they, they're operating out this same face. Which is the ego. So now I'm seeing them do this, you know. It's a trip because it's like the same with all people. It's like the same, this, same, this energy is the same on all people. Once you see it, it's kind of like looking at the movie Fallen, how you see this energy of anger just pop into one person to the next. That's how, because it seems to operate it in the same way. These people are always trying to nitpick and engage you in the, come on and get in this argument with me. Just come on. They, they're, they're trying to draw from you. Why are they doing that? Why are they, you know what I'm saying, trying to engage you in it? And they really get up. They really get upset and, and belittle when you don't engage in, in it with them. I mean, you just like, okay, whatever. Whatever, whatever. You know, you just going about your business, whatever. Uh, that kind of upsets them because they don't, get, they don't get the opportunity to, I don't know, they get some kind of fix. Some people just get some kind of fix behind that. But uh, that's all I got to say about energy and emotions. I hope this video helped you. Light and love. May the ancestors be with you.